Hi everyone and welcome to Words with That One Lady. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the podcast. And today we have a repeat guest. And you know, repeat guests are the best guests that we love. Like when I say repeat guests, like the ones that have been here before. So today, I don't know if I want to make him introduce himself. I'll just go ahead and introduce him because he's, you know, Udugu of life. Um, I have Toby Banks in the house. And he was in our second episode of the podcast. I think, second episode, I think. So yeah, it was one of my mm-hmm. first guests, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. So we have to begin in the house to join us for a conversation that he does not know that we're having. Ha! <laughs> That's interesting. So to be ready. Yeah, to yeah let's, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Exactly. Let's do this. So first thing first, how are you doing today? Genuinely, I'm just tired. Like I'm just tired. Mentally just tired, you know. Like, exactly. Like today doesn't even have any beer. It just anyhow. <laughs> it's like I don't even know. It's reminding me of Yaba Market or Oshodi Market. Just anyhow. <laughs> so all the people don't who don't know what he's referring to. Yaba Market is the market in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, one of the rogue gun most complicated market ever but i don't know if it's better now but yeah that's what she's referring to a very busy place so mm-hmm. um you know, i think it's, it's it's that time of the year when everybody's like the oh, first quarter of the year is done everybody's just like tired and it's like mm-hmm. okay i want something exciting to happen basically what everybody's waiting for right now am i right well yeah something like that but for me, it's actually quite different. This is like the first month of Q2, second quarter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In my head, this is how I thought the year was going to be. Q1 is the first quarter of the year, meaning that you still probably be adjusting to the year's demands or the year's plan you get. Yeah. With that period where you're just trying to get your balance, then you'd expect that in Q2, you already have that, you already have your rhythm, you already have your balance, and you're just going. You get me with yeah. your maximum energy, get. But it's not really going like that, you know. I don't know why. <laughs> but that's, that's very true. Go ahead. Because, I mean, Q one wasn't really. The, it was like it was the most or the smoothest um phase. I mean, not like it was bad anyways. I think my own Q one wasn't really bad. Surprisingly, it was actually quite good. It was really good actually. But then this April. Maybe it's just me personally. I just had a lot of, I just, I just have a lot of, um, you know, family stuff going on. Small, not small drama, I guess. But then <laughs> it's not as smooth as I'd, I'd expect. Because I thought that, oh my, you know, this is what's going to happen. I'm just going to do this. You know, you already have your own plans. Oh my, yeah. it's just, it's just, everywhere just blast boost. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's so true though. Like when I think about it, like how did my Q1 phase, like the first quarter of the year, go for me? I don't even know. I think I just went with the way the months came. I had plans for the months and I just tried to get them done. How I got them done, I don't know. I feel like I just went through the motions. Like a friend of mine would say, it's just going through the motions and just going like whatever happens, as long as you have a plan, you follow through. And it didn't go badly. Yeah, I agree with you. But like now, like since April started, I've been in a very annoying meh situation. Like I've been in the whole, yeah. <sighs> okay, it's another month. All right. What am I doing with my life now? Okay. What am I supposed to get done? It's like that, That's the way it is. And I feel so angry. And especially this week, this week has just been very drabby for me. Like I've been dragging my feet every day, struggling to get up, struggling to do stuff. And I'm like, what exactly is going on? Like, where's that oomph that's supposed to come with the second quarter of the year? Like, yes, we've got this going. We laid down the plan with the first quarter, and the second quarter is supposed to go like pretty good. Like, where is it? Oh, it's so annoying, but I don't know, man. Yeah. Like, no, I feel like it will get better. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for cutting you, but I feel like it's okay. going to get better. Yeah. Um, if I use myself an ex- as an example, the thing is, so um, the Q1, I mean, Instead of going to the, I mean, we just resume partially in the office. That's physical resumption in that sense. Yeah. We resume physically in the office. So, you know, getting into that office groove, getting your vibe right. Then for the month of April, I started training, like office training and everything. So I just killed my office vibe because it's remote. <laughs> so <laughs> the usual me, we will be up like 6 a.m., getting ready, doing good stuff. And then now I'm just like, my bed 8 45 
you know, turning off my alarm so I can just join the class by 9 a.m. So yeah. it's just killing my vibe and my and my mojo in that sense. Um, so different random things too. I mean, also for me too, I I tried on I tried taking on new projects um each month, like for the month of yeah. February, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm going to start this this online course or this stuff and then go on with it. March, I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to start this course on this one too. So I just track a, a, a consistent effort to develop myself. So for the month of April, I was like, okay, what am I going to what am I going to start? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean nothing. <laughs> so it feels like I'm not really as productive or as super duper as I'd want to be. But I think it's one of those periods. It's meant to happen. There's just the time when you're just trying to just ride instead of just start money. If it's not accelerate, it's just meant to just, you know, flow instead of accelerate in that sense. I think that's what this April is for. Yeah. I mean, we'll still get our momentum back anyways, but I'm I'm just guessing. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. No, for real. Like when I when I uh, thinking back on our episode in January that we did and we talked about how, you know, the new year is starting and like, getting the flow, getting into the mood. Mm-hmm like how the year is going to go. I remember you mentioning that your goal was to try and see that in all that you do, no matter how the year went, you wanted to keep improving yourself and doing one thing or the other to make sure that you were one up in yourself, whatever you're doing, like you being your biggest competition and all of that. And hearing you talk about the fact that you walked through that in March makes a lot of sense. I think that that's amazing that you went through that whole phase of, oh, okay, I want to get this done. I want to get this done. You, you, at least you did all the classes that you said you did in March and now you're now saying, oh, what's next? But the truth is, it's not going to be all fun and games when it comes to like, you know, wanting to improve yourself and all yeah. that. There are moments yeah. where you're like, okay, what else do I want to do now? Uh, I'll just take a breather. It's okay. It's uh, like I said, just go with the flow. Um, As long as you're not slacking in anything, that's what's important. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Very important. I mean, Doesn't this mean. this reminds me of plantain again. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Go ahead. <laughs> you, you know when you're frying plantain, yeah. I mean, you put the, when you put the plantain into the hot oil and everything, and then you know psh, everywhere, and then plantain is changing color. You know, there will be like a very very short period where it feels like nothing is happening. Yep. I mean, there's still the, there's still heat, there's still everything, but at that period, nothing is happening, nothing is changing color, nothing is getting darker, nothing is you know. But deep down, we know things are changing. We know that there are some internal works going on, but it may not look like that from the outside. Do you get me? We just know the case cooking on the inside in that sense, but we wouldn't see it from the outside. So I'm guessing that's what this month is probably like, or this period has been like. Should you get me? Yeah, tell me again with the plantain analogy. If you guys don't know what plantain is, please go and find out. Plantain is Toby's <laughs> best food. So if you're a girl interested in Toby, the way to Toby's heart is plantain. In his yeah, because it's, it's really expensive in Lagos at the moment. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my I, I, I tried getting plantain like yesterday, guy. I, 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 I almost fought. <laughs> <laughs> How much is it now? Sidebar. <laughs> it's meant to be like, I mean... Um, I think it's out of season currently, yeah. So it's meant to okay. be like it, it is a bit, a tad bit higher, it's a tad bit, but then I guess it's where I'm, where I'm currently at. I mean, I'm, I'm on the island and everything, so oh. you get. Because yes. I was like, I saw, I, I, I mean, I was working with my friend, and like we see this um guy selling plantain, and we're like, well, how much is this guy? It looks like a proper five hundred naira plantain, if not four hundred. But then I was like, hmm, five hundred. Or highest, you know, seven hundred. Yeah. This guy told me one case straight, and I'm like, <laughs> what? Why? What? I could have afford it though, but I was just really angry. I was like, what? <laughs> anyway, let me not even try to relieve the moment. I could, <laughs> I could be triggered <laughs> again, exactly. But guys, going back to the analogy we to be just you know brought up, it's very very important. Thinking about it, like. When you're even when you're cooking food, basically, there's a point where it feels like, oh, what's happening in this place? Like, how far? Why is it not working? Or why is it not moving? What's happening? Exactly. So if you know, if you know what plantain is and you fry plantain, you know that the first time you put it in the fire and it goes like the burn, it goes like the frying process begins. There's that point where you're turning it over and over again and it's still yellow. And you're like, uh-uh, off or now? Are you not good to fry? Exactly. Cool, exactly. You know? Exactly. So there are those moments in life where you're just there and you feel like 
there's nothing happening but you forget that there's something called an internal process that is going on that you cannot really use your physical eye to see but the thing is give yourself a couple of months you see that all that tiny tiny processes that was taking place that you couldn't see would then add up to a big one that would happen you'd be like oh my god this finally happened for me this finally worked out blah 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 then you the, the thing is we don't we don't believe in tiny processes when people say trust the process that's what they actually mean those moments mm-hmm. when it feels like there's nothing going on something's actually going on but you just can't see it and they're not just big enough for you to hold it they don't seem tangible enough even if it's just the fact that you were able to get two tasks done today at work it's, a, it's something as a student if it just means that you just got like one assignment completed and you met your deadline it's, a, it's, a, it's something done but because you're comparing yourself with other people you're not you know, smashing all the goals that you want to smash for the year in one month, you now feel like, oh, I'm not getting anything done. Trust the process. It's just like the plantain in the hot oil. Yes. This is a very <laughs> good analogy. I have to say, I'm okay. so proud of myself. <laughs> no, I'm proud. Of, I'm very proud of you too. I'm very proud of you too. So Q2 is on the way. I feel like we should begin to do all this quarter um, updates. I think that's what we should do. Maybe. <laughs> right. Maybe we did Q1, now we're doing Q2. Maybe we'll touch back, take touch base back for Q3. But yeah, so far so good. So Q2 is um right about the way. It's April, May, and June. Phew, man. What are you anticipating that it would be like with first of all, even with COVID, are you seeing any light in the tunnel with this whole COVID situation and the way Q2 is going? Yeah, actually, it's, I feel like this period is very, very promising because there's some form of stability um, with the way things are happening now. Um, stability in the sense that um, things are now able to be much more predictable. Like you can say, okay, if I go, if I, if I try to do this next month, the government's not going to say lockdown <laughs> or something. Yeah. In that sense, the stability then um, also things are returning back to normal a little bit. In turning back yeah. to normal, in the sense that businesses, businesses are now you know trying to get like resurrect in that sense. I mean, yeah. they're still the economy is still crazy, but you get what I mean. Um, that's generally speaking. But then for me personally, I'm really excited about Q2 because that's when I'm, that's probably when I'll start seeing returns in my um investments or in your in, in any. That's when people start seeing their returns in their investments in self development yeah. or whatever mm-hmm. because. I mean, you start doing a course, you start seeing results. Not that you see all the results immediately, but you start seeing the results in terms of how you, you process things better or you assimilate things better or your point of view just changes. Um, you start seeing results. If you start going to the gym, see someone should take me to the gym. You start going to the gym <laughs> and... <laughs> I mean, you start going to the gym, you start saying that, okay, maybe my shots are not as tight as before or something. You know, I mean, you just start seeing the results. Little yeah. by little, that kind of those kind of results that make you know that okay, you're not wasting your time, keep going. Those kind of yeah. encouraging results in that sense. So that's what Q2 should be like. Then um that's what I'm anticipating to man, because all the all all the sacrifices is not it's not gonna waste, it's not gonna waste it. Exactly. I mean, it's not gonna work. So it I mean dull. that's what it is. Exactly, that's so true, guys. Anyone who knows Toby really, really well, please come and drag him to the gym so that in Q3 we'll be able to say, and when we say <laughs> third quarter, we'll be able to say, Oh, I still going to the gym and all that you stuff. Get me. You get me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's that. I think that's something I really would like to do personally, but yeah, yeah. No, that, that the thing is, it's, it's actually very, very interesting when you say that the results to start showing or the yeah. benefit of the time where all the times that you're putting efforts and you're working you should start seeing it dividends and um, investment for benefits should start coming in and all of that mm-hmm. and if you're putting work you should be able to see what you're putting like the results of the work but the truth is what happens to those who don't even see the results like the end of june comes and you don't see anything changing about all that you've done what happens to them then um that's a very good question um Questions like this are very, actually really hard to answer. And yeah. the thing is, there's never really a straightforward um, answer to this kind of question because there, there could be many, many, many variable factors. Many variable factors. Right? Are they putting in the right result, um, the right effort, or are they putting the efforts in the right place and in the right thing, or are they even looking out for the the right uh, returns as far well, the encouraging results in that sense. Because sometimes people will do so, like they will do the, the basic minim- minimum, and they will expect to see 
um like Amount huge results yeah you, true. Like, you, you, you can't try to be gymming like once a week and expect to have a um Dwayne Johnson kind of muscle or something. I mean, could possible, could possible. Uh, oh, Joro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so I mean, that's not that's not going to happen though. So, um, what I do feel is that although there are many factors that will probably um, you know, interfere, like your village people, the economy, country that oh, you're in, village people. But, <laughs> <laughs> but then I feel like. If you do some things right, I mean, trust me, man. You get, you get. At least you should get some result. If you put your head down and get, and you know, devote your time and energy into whatever you're trying to do, and um, you do it diligently, um, fam, I'm sure you're going to see results. At least yeah. in in a while, you would see results. And um, what else? I don't even know what else to say. But I know that if you do take your time, you know, diligently put in the effort, consistently put in the effort. You will see your results, and um, they would that because so that's what's going to fuel you, uh, fuel that energy. To be yes. honest, the results fuel the energy. You won't want to do something that if it feels like a waste of time. You won't want to continue, man. I promise. So if you do it right, the the results will actually make you do more, and just you know keep you going. That's so, that's very very interesting that you say that. Like, and so true that so many people don't put in a, enough work for stuff and they want to see so many results. So the, I don't know if you remember um, recently on Instagram, there was this conversation about um, people using waist trainers and um, results of waist trainers. And some people said, um, you just get a waist trainer today and you want to be seeing results in two weeks time. That you think that people that are working out, you think that they're, 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 they're what are they putting out? They, they get results in days. Like when you're doing something, you're supposed to put enough effort, enough work, give it time. The results might not come immediately, yeah. might not come days, might not come in months. It might take like a year for you to see results. But the question is, how much of work are you putting in? The amount of result that the kind of results you want to see from something is dependent on how much of effort you're putting into it. If you're putting one yeah, percent exactly. effort, you get one percent result. If you put on hundred percent effort, you get a hundred percent result. Now the question is, there's also something called time that plays yeah. into the results also come out so if you put in one percent of work and for something that's supposed to be resultant in like two weeks of course it will come out but if you put a hundred percent of work and something's supposed to be resultant in two years don't expect it to come out in a year like things vary do not use yourself to compare with other persons you know someone else's successes and someone else's progresses to compare with yourself walk in your own pace and try to figure out yourself your pace your time your work effort and the results you're supposed to see from it but that's so yeah. interesting so interesting to say sincerely but guys q2 is on the way you're putting the effort it might look like you're stagnant you're not stagnant there's an internal process going on you know pay attention to that internal process and trust the process and also, if Q2 finishes and you don't see any tangible results, go back and reevaluate. How much of work did I put in into Q2? What did I do well? What did I not do well? Reevaluate yourself for the next quarter. The truth is, we're not advisors, but we're just saying things that we know that have, like, you know, could make sense. And I hope it makes sense. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I'm serious. I try to do that disclaimer so somebody doesn't think that, oh, she's advising me now. I'm not. <laughs> <sure. laughs> I am not. So I don't know how long we've been talking for now, but one question that I want I wanted to ask you to be is what so far your biggest struggles um with as, as a per, like personally your biggest struggles with going along with the year so far? Uh, I think one thing I would always struggle with, or I guess what we would always struggle with was um consistency. Yeah. Um because believe it or not, I mean, one of the few things that I'm really consistent with is Clubhouse. <laughs> I know, right? I was going to plug that <laughs> soon. <though. laughs> but like, it's like, you're not consistent. There was a time that we're looking for you on Clubhouse. Sorry. No, 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 no. Trust me. I, I, I told Alex that I'm going to be around for a second. And okay. I did. I, I would make provisions for everything. Okay. I'm in Clubhouse. Surprisingly. Please don't SMH. tell my boss. <laughs> I hope your boss listens to this. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, man. Um, I think one thing I, I would always struggle with is consistency because there are some times when your spirit is rolling, but your body is like, no. Oh, true. So, um, like for instance, now I'm into I'm like I'm into tech, for instance. So if I'm like, if I practice my code every single day, I know the kind of results I would get. Mm. Hmm. Well, 
it's easier said than done in that Yo, sense. Oh, that's so true. Because we're like, yeah, practice every day. Yay, yay. <laughs> Go and do it. <laughs> oh, my God. Because one minute you're already home, like you go home, see your family, and then you're not distracted. You don't even know your laptop is for a second. You're distracted. That kind of thing. Or yeah, you go yeah. home. I mean, there's just so many distractions in that sense. Of course, you would say, well, oh, yes, you can turn it down. Just devote some time. I mean, it's all, yes, they're all, they're all valid. But it's not as easy as it sounds. I mean, I can nope. imagine how this is, this is uh, probably what the other people go to and um, go through in that sense. Brother. So, I mean, let's say we we'll leave work lifestyle let's go to normal people and um, lifestyle i mean people yeah. want to go to the gym or people want to learn a new um want to just learn something new or do something new the consistency I and mean, of course you could have the passion for it you could have but then there's but that's my own personal back to chat consistency i mean i try to do better these days i try to you know figure out new strategies to just make me do that like do it <laughs> you know but and it's been going well for a second um, I'm not gonna jinx it, but then yeah, I mean, I try to. <laughs> um, but so you can. That's my own personal struggle. I, I, other people probably have theirs or can relate to mine, anyways. But yeah, that's that's my own struggle for some time. No, I I think I agree with you. Like consistency is like a big one for me too when it comes to because okay, right now I have a blog, I do have the podcast, and I have other things in school and work that I do. But the big thing for me is for the blog now. I've not I've not posted anything on my blog for the past almost two months now and i was like oh i'll post two episodes of the podcast and i'll and you know write a po- blog post every every month or three blog um two blog posts every two blog posts every month and i've not done anything for the blog even on instagram like the that one lady page not done anything i've been so involved in every other thing when i think about it i'm like wait even your school work and work that you do you still slack because I, I struggle to meet up with deadlines. I struggle to do something like, oh my God. And there's some days when I just feel like I don't have the drive to do anything. So it's like consistency and the drive to do stuff. And I'm, I think about it, I'm like, why is it so? Uh, I, I, I thought about it, like, okay, maybe it's because of the pandemic, the fact that we've been indoor for days and months and years already. And it's becoming tiring not to have like a different lifestyle to live which is like go out and come and go out and come and know that this, this time is for this, this time is for this, this time is for this. But I think about it and I'm like, oh, that's just excuse, young woman. It's just all excuses. You can actually mm-hmm. make it happen. But like you said, it's easier said than done for real. Um, telling yourself that you want to get stuff done is just number one thing to do. Now, actually making time and putting the effort to get this done is actually the biggest thing. And like getting yourself to do it is the biggest thing. And I think about it and I'm like, man, I don't even know how. Like the, for me, what works when I have all this like consistency issues or drive issues, I take myself out of my natural space, of my comfort space. Like I just get up. Or, they call it comfort zone. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah. <laughs> myself out of that space and um, I try to put myself in a different space to be able to get stuff done so I remember um, for a couple of weeks I think a couple of weeks ago I would go to like my school's library and I'll stay there for like four hours to get stuff done trust me it was a struggle still to like try to concentrate and get stuff done but the truth is every day that I did that I got something done which was good for me on like days when I just sit down at home and I'll not be able to get anything done. That kind of helped me with like the drive part. But for the consistency, I've still not hacked it. I'm not hacked it yet. I'm still thinking about the process. Like, how do you hack that part, Ruth? Like, how? Just how? How do you hack it? Well, yeah. But the truth is that most of the times is the same. Is the same solution. So people always want the better, easier solution. But then they're not thinking there's no better, easier solution. It's the same solution. Um. So what I would usually do is to, um, to increase my productivity, which also in turn in turn um, increases your consistency, is to have like a to-do list. Oh um, that that just that yeah, trust me, that just makes you happy with your life. Yeah, I know, because right? Because it keeps you on track. So if I have stuff to do today or tomorrow, I'm already writing it down. I'm like, okay, I have to wash plates, buy flat pain. <laughs> Oh, so you know anything? Just write it down. I know if it, I know that it's important. Of course, I'm gonna write down to have my bath tomorrow. Because psh, come on. <laughs> but then I find know that it's really important, and I know I have to do it. You just see me say, okay, I have to call this guy tomorrow. I have to schedule a meeting tomorrow. I have to do this tomorrow. I have to learn to do this tomorrow. And you know, just make everything happen. And um, 
it will help you because sometimes you don't even you don't even meet up to your to do list, but it keeps you organized. And when you're organized, you can track um, your activities. And when you can track your activities, you can know what is causing your um, your speed. Whether you're slow or you're fast, you just know what to do. So you know where the problem. You see, you can just track yourself. And okay, this is a problem. I can fix this problem. It's better than not, better than not knowing what the problem is in the first mm-hmm. place. Then another thing to do is to um, what my personally would do is that when I make when I buy some of my money, eh, <laughs> <laughs> that thing is not gonna waste at all so, at all. So I mean, I'll pay for courses. I mean, I paid for a course recently, and it's like a subscription, meaning that I pay every month. It kills me because I'm like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but then. Um, that one, me knowing that I am using my money that did not dash me, Yo. that did not give me on the road, I did not see on the road to pay for this. I had to see the returns in this for real, for real. Yeah. So that thing keeps me on my feet. It keeps me on my feet. Like, I'm like, okay, I have to get this done. Um, so I, I'm paying for like two courses like that. Someone even paid for one for me as well. Two courses like that. One I'm paying like monthly and everything the other one was like a one-off but because i know that these things are not free there's an obligation to me that i must utilize the value of this thing i must enjoy yeah. the money well so um people some people are also like that because sometimes when you give them free stuff free stuff they're like mm, free material free link free this mm, um, okay i'll think about it I'll make later. fun yeah but when is that money man trust me you should to shock you how proactive you get <laughs> Like so true. the way on that feet. So those two things, uh, those are like the recent hacks that I currently use. So I'm oh gonna tell you what I don't know. So I'll tell you no, what no, I, no. I do. Yeah. You did a great job like putting those together. The first one, especially with to do using the to-do list, as is very, very interesting. Because imagine those days when you actually write the to-do list and you're ticking them off and you're like, yes, I've gotten this Yo, done. You feel great, man. Exactly, you feel great. exactly. And that kind of keeps you going. So tomorrow when you wake up, you're like, okay, I need to, you know, write another list for today so that I know that, you know, what I got done, what I did not get done so I can get it done tomorrow. And the thing is when you're doing those checklists and you're ticking them off, even if you don't get something done, when you see that you, you know, you ticked off a couple of things, you feel good about yourself and you're like, okay, I'll, I'll go again tomorrow and I will see exactly. how to get the other ones done. So yeah, that's a very, 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 very interesting hack that I think would work for a number of people if that's something you can incorporate into your day as well to help a consistency. Um, as The money part, that's very, very true. When you're putting <laughs> money for yourself, money, your hard-earned money, the one that you know that you spent hours working for, you're not putting to something. Yeah. God knows that if that money does not bring you fruit, you are not going to be happy. So you will, God knows. as in, you would make sure that you see the reward and the, like the, and, and the come the benefits of the money that you put into something. So that's a very very interesting one, especially, especially when you're putting into into yourself, into like developing yourself. Like it's actually what Yeah, I, I, I like to be very practical. So it yeah. doesn't seem like others aspire to inspire. I beg you. <laughs> inspire. Go. It's, it's like only practical things should be what people talk about. Like nobody should be yeah. doing like high falutin sentences that do, that you can't put them into physical in, into physical physical act. What's the point? Mm-hmm. Like if you say things and I like, can you say, oh, remember and trust the something, and you're like, how do I do it? Like, how do I go about it? That's like the most important part of all like sentence, all the sentences that people say out there about aspiring to inspire, like, be practical about your sentences. And I'm glad that you were. So thank you so much for sharing that with us to be. I got you. I got you. Before we end the podcast or this episode, let me know. If you have any last, you know, final words to share with the people before we go, before we tell them bye to Q3? Right, right, right. Um... Okay, I might do some aspire to inspire at this point because I don't eh, know. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> you aspire to this point. Go ahead. <laughs> well, the truth is, um, if any of our people tell me what what, what message I have for people, most of the time I'm talking to myself. And yeah. I'm just giving my message to myself in that sense. So, um, one thing I can say is that I, I should just trust post, uh, what to people rather. To, to our listeners in that sense. Please trust the process. Um, 
it's never really straightforward. Nothing is really straightforward in this life like that, except plantain. But then please try to process. Um, it, it, it won't be straightforward for some time. It might not be. It would be. It could be. But trust the process. I mean, is your, I mean every process is unique, meaning that it won't be like the other person's own. Like, it won't be like your neighbor's own. It's like, your, it's like in your genes, everything is just uniquely designed for yeah. you. So trust your own process. It's not really nice to compare. You can be inspired, but just trust your own process. Do it at your own pace. If you feel like you can expand, that's great. If you can go faster, that's great. So trust your own process. Um, as long as you're doing it right, and you believe that you're doing it right, then that you're good, man. It may not take it, it may not come out real quick or real soon, but it's really going to come out eventually. Exactly. So just trust your own process. So that's what it is, man. And to, to wrap things up, I would say I would say what my mom will always say: as our faces are different as humans, so are our processes. Like we're different huh. people. As in, that's the same way everything about us is different. The fact that even with your siblings, even with your cousins, family members, none of you look, even with twins, even though they look like some way alike, there's like one thing yeah. that differentiates them. So exactly. that's that's what it is. The same way um, how we're all different. The faces, our facial structures, same way our process are different. So trust your own process. Make sure, like Tobias said, make sure that you're focusing on you. You're not comparing yourself. You're not looking at someone else. Look at yourself. Look at your process. Look at what you're doing. Focus on that. And let people be only the encouraging aspect of you. Let not They shouldn't be like what you're focusing on. Let them encourage you. Let their works encourage you to, you know, put work into yourself and, you know, get better at what you're doing. And don't worry, even if it's taking a while, Something is happening, but just not seeing it. it Definitely, man, for real. Yeah. Exactly. All right, Toby, thank you very much for joining us on this episode today. And um, we look forward to seeing you Q3, maybe August, we'll, you know, touch base again and do another Q3 review, do a, a quarter review. I, I think I'm liking this. Thank you so much. Yes, that's the nice part. Of and also, um, your mom really said some really nice inspiring stuff please give her plantain on my behalf thank you very I shall. Much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god i will i will give her plantain on your behalf makes a lot of sense all right toby until next time have a wonderful day you too man. you too guys thank you so much for listening to today's episode i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it so much don't forget to share let your friends know let your sister brothers uncle mothers fathers know about it it can help anybody this can help anybody at all so go ahead and share it if you also have a question comments things you like me to do more or anything you like to me to hear go ahead and leave me an email check the description and you will find that email there and i would love to hear back from you guys thank you so much once again and until next time Keep leaving, keep loving, and ensure that you're leaving, leaving, leaving your truth. And until the next podcast, have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.